Hello, hello everyone, it's me, NYC Einstein from the Florida New York Stock Exchange, the Einstein of Wall Street, June 11th, the beginning of the month. Kind of an interesting day. We always talk about where, not where our market opens, but the directionality of where our market opens to where it closes. And we went from the upper right to the lower left. Market at its high was up 200 points. Continuation of the rally that we've seen. So we've got a deal with Mexico, and I'm a firm believer that the administration is a creator of crises that don't really exist, and then we go on to solve those crises, and then we all look like geniuses, okay? All that being said, we've solved the problem in Mexico, even though there really wasn't one. Even though we are now gonna levy higher problems on China, we have interest rates that potentially may got lowered, even though that's a decision that seems a little fast to decide on an economically driven data solution. But all being that being said, we've seen a breakout in the marketplace. We came in today, a lack of really bad news, and a market that's really kind of on fire, and probably big short positions and some resistance up against the 2900 level, but a fast and furious rally over the last six days. Mexico, China, lower interest rates, God knows what. All that being said, the market rallied from 24-7 to 26-1. The S&P went from 27.36 to 28.85. Tommy Lee, 2.885, spot 5-0. 8550-2885. All that being said, we, we love playing the numbers, me and Tommy. So if you want to play them and you want to play those numbers, maybe those will win. They didn't win Friday, did they? Not even close. Anyway. Okay, well, that's interesting. 8485 maybe. All that being said, we started the day on a roar. We started the day super green. We've got a little bit of mergers and acquisitions. We had a Dan Grodin Beyond Meat, which really had the fever this week. Okay, that went from 24 to 48 to 175. Finally, it came in, became reasonable, downgrade, sold off 150 points. All that being said, we came in, the market was on fire, we topped out at 185 points up. We hit some resistance. I think people sort of, the, the, the market ran out of steam on a rise that's over a thousand point rally over the last few days. We closed the day down 15 points, Russell off five, S&P off an odd line. It's clearly, there was not a real big sell side. It just seems like they took their foot off the gas and the market ran out of steam. All those buyers who were fast and furious did what they needed to do and they took their foot off the gas. Not too much to read into it. Tomorrow is Wednesday, hump day. Let's see what happens. We hit up against the 2900 lever in the S&P. We hit up against 26.1. We'll need a reason to go higher and a reason to go lower. That for today is not what's happening. I'm done for the day. I'm exhausted, as is the market. We're closing out today at 26,050. The Russell off an odd lot. The S&P off an odd lot at 2885, butting its head against 2900. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. It's all fine and good. Inside Verstoff, NYSE Einstein, the Einstein and Wall Street from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'll see you tomorrow.